Hello everybody and welcome once again to another episode of Galactic Science 2. Well I'm just continuing on really. And I've just loaded a dot one one hotfix. So uh, the first thing we have to do is to issue a command, which is BQ admin. I'm going to find the B there is. <laughs> Default load. And that loads in the quest. So you do not have permission to use this command. That's um, interesting. Because that's supposed to load up things. I should probably raise that as a thing. But what we could probably do then is we can go back and we can open to LAM. We can go to survival cheats on a start of the LAN world. And then we can probably, I think what we can then do is to go and try that command again. Yeah, now we've reloaded the quest database. So let's start with what I want to do today is basically let's just have a look at the quests for the matter. I was looking at, so it says the T4 stuff, so that looks the same. This looks the same. I'm not sure it's actually worked, to be honest with you. Maybe I have to quit the game. Improvements, it all looks the same, doesn't it? Take flight, crystallize, start as a line. What I'm working towards is doing these two quests, by the way. Bedrockium drums, that's what I was looking for for this. Uh, a titanium dark side, that's not very exciting as a reward, that's just, that's just bone meal. Anyway, so what I'm, I'm going to do today is to set up the quarry plus because that's actually a tricky thing to do what I need let's have a look I've only got five aluminium wires let's make some more five aluminium wires while I'm thinking about it what I've got for aluminium for 61 and I need some wool I've only got five I need to make some more wool so let's make some that's what we got for string. I planted got that. Let's just do that round here like this. We get 16 wool. Put one of those in there and then shift click that to get as many as we can. 18, 23. That'll probably be enough. We also need the markers. I think the markers might be in here. Yes, here we go these three marker pluses and I'm going to take these and I'm going to put some stuff back I don't need the cobblestone, I don't need the lead, I don't need the emeralds but I would like some redstone torches I've got three actually I would like to make some more redstone torches so let's make some more of those so we need some sticks I've got 50 that's plenty and I've got some look well that's interesting how that actually gets shown up by that Eight. I think that will now will make eleven because that matches the number of markers in here. Now, what we're going to do? Let's have a look at the time of day. It's actually coming up to night time. Let's have a look. So, I'm going to extend this. What I built here, and I'm going to extend it out. So, the way I'm going to do that is I can put the marker pluses down here, but you can't see them so easily. So let's go to this position. Here is where I set, I set it up before, wasn't it? So let's put down, say, a marker here. I need to remove these and this one, and I want the markers, the standard markers, of landmark. That's weird because it's just like a dot, isn't it? Um, I'm going to put that down there, and I'm going to go like this, and that'll give me this. If I do the same with the marker pluses, which we can also do, let's put those down here. You, is black and you can't really see it so e well actually at the moment I can see it but there are certain points I can't see it very well and this one goes 256 blocks so we'll look how far we got here I bet you it's already sort of finished let's dig down a bit I know I need to find the end of this right I found the end of that like that and I'm going to go down um, 128 Tell me, it's back on again. 
So I'm going to go, instead of having, this is 64, and that's where I want the middle to be, I'm going to take it a bit bigger. So I'm going to put another marker down here like this, and another torch, which we can put anywhere we like, I suppose, like that. And this is what, at the end of this is where I want the the end of the other marker for the marker pluses. I'm just hoping I've got enough stuff with me. Let's put the, the moon dirt on moon turf, whatever I've picked up down there. So I think this is a good place to start with. And I don't. Yeah, look at that. So I'm then going to put another marker down here like this, and then on the side of this I'm going to put some more dirt, and I'm going to put another standard marker, and we're going to go out here, and we're going to go back 128, so that's two blocks. Which hopefully won't take too long to do. Looks like a big one. A big crater, well, it's bigger than the other one, isn't it? So look. Yeah, around about here, I think. Not quite missed it, but about one, but that's fine. Because we can put the marker on there and then the torch on here like that. And go back here another 64. And that will actually do for this place. I'll put that one down like that, and another torch down like that, and then we go across here. So I want to basically go across three. We'll do that as well. And then we'll come along here and replace these for the marker plus markers. That's here. Alright, good. So this will be a fairly large quarry and at the beginning it's going to get a lot of moon turf. And that's going to be the other corner. We only have three of the um, of the quarry plus markers, but that doesn't matter because you only need three, like this. And that was the middle point of the previous one, I think. Which is now the end point of this one. So I put this one down like this, and this one down like that, and then that should be the full block. So now we're going to put down the. I don't need to keep jumping, do I? Well, I should do. So now we're going to put down the quarry plus markers and do the same thing with these. You see that nicely joins up. So we put that one down like that and that one down like that and then that becomes this end here and I can remove these two it just takes some time to set up a quarry actually it's surprising and I'm going to leave this one at the end here and we're going to go across and we're going to put in the, the one on this, this corner over here. I can see it, that is. It's right over there, look. So 
It doesn't really matter that I'm not going to be getting moon rock so quickly. I probably should have gone. I probably should have removed the torches and things like that because they will get knocked off. So that's the second one, like that. As you can see, that those are all joining up now. So what I need to do is just remove these, the normal markers, landmarks from everywhere. Oops, that was a bit of lag actually. Put my clock down because it is getting towards night time, and I do. Need, I have got armor. Let's put my helmet on just in case. But my my, my uh, sword's a bit worn out. Like that. Right, and then we all we need to do is come over to this corner here. I think I need to remove this one over there because you can see the vertical lines. here is to build a cross aren't I so because I can't reach that from here I don't think yeah I can This one wants to be the corner piece, doesn't it? So I need to basically get the one over here. I don't know if it's going to work like this, but we'll see. Something I want to try it in the middle of the of the of the rectangle or on the middle side of the rectangle. This is the, the first one I would like, like that. I'll come back to this point anyway, so we don't care about that so much. Let's put this one over here. I have a ter terrible feeling I'm not going to do this in time, but we'll, we'll see what we can do. And then I should have got down the three corner blocks. And if I click right click this now, it should form the rectangle for us. And it looks like it has done. But what I'm not 100% sure about is can we place the quarry in the middle of the rectangle where I want it to be? I just remove these two because these don't really belong here like this. What I'd like to do is to put it on here. So if I put the quarry down, say here, I'm not sure if it'll work. We'll just try it. No, it didn't work. It just made that little quarry there. So let's pick that up and run over here again. Actually, I've got my Rara pickaxe now, so I'm going fast. I've still got enough food of course 
I don't need this torch on here either. Now, can I place that down there? Or am I in the way? Probably in the way. I probably have to put like a block of something down here. Let's just do that. Down there that and put the quarry down here. Yes, that's what I want it to do. Now, if I put a chest on top of this, those markers will be inside the quarry, or it should be picked up. So that's time to go back home, because it's night time. And we need some chests, and we need the um, end chest that I prepared before, and of course the sterling generator. Which actually brings me to another tip by Raid, which I'd like to demonstrate. In fact, let me go and get that marker from over there. Because that that should jink, uh, should join up to here. I get up here? No, I can't. Yeah, we're getting creepers and the like. Tell you what I'll do, as I shall whip inside, have a sleep, get some more oxygen and come back outside in the morning. So it's taken me 15 minutes to set up a quarry so far. Sleep now. So what I wanted was a ch Ah, okay, they've come out now, so they're finished. Fantastic, let's just remove this pipe from in here. So we've now got our 16 pure fluids crystals. So what I want is um, a chest. What did I do with those chests I made earlier on? Stuff up. I don't need that. I've got another. I've got another book here. Open computers manual. Ah, oh, we've now got open computers in here. Right. What's that chest? Well, I can't find one. So let's make some wood. I've done something with it, but I'm not sure exactly what. Let's make a quick one chest will do. We want the sterling generator and the ender chest from below. In fact, the sterling generator and the end of the chest are down here, I think. Yes. Well, that's a bit strange. So that's the old quarry. Let's pick up the end of the chest. Actually, that takes quite a lot of digging. Oh, we've got a. Oh, I'll take the node with us. And at the same time, bash up a whole load of. We I mean, don't, never mind. We'll just come up, back up here. Did that node come with me? I think it's still floating around there. Let's just put this. Let's put this down here. I don't care about it so much. Yes. So it's got some moon rock. I picked it or whatever. Right, good. I'll come back and collect that later on. Oh yeah, that's from below. Maybe jump. I was thinking I've got I got mob in there and haven't. Right, so. I want the um, sterling generator, but she's actually downstairs. Take the one. Yeah, we will take this one. What have I got in here? I don't want to put that in there, can't I? Actually, I can put a few things in here just to clean things up a bit. It's actually interesting. I was surprised that um, Caitlin put that in because I asked him if we could have. Uh, 
open computers because with open computers you can automate um, well you can program recipes into your synthesizers and hopefully I'll be able to demonstrate that later on not just yet but later on so I want to go upstairs and go to this quarry which is right over there I'm not sure I've put it in the best place now but there we are Let's get the quarry plus and go a bit faster. I might. There's that. I was getting a bit worried, you know. I was thinking, where has that gone to? Let's take some. Let's take some turf with us as we're going along, because um, I might need it to build this platform out a bit here to make the quarry, so we can put the stuff on the quarry a bit. Let's take this. interesting I showed you I showed you before if you press shift here it does it that way if you press control it does it in this way you see so let's press shift and just do a row on here like that so now I should like another row on here so what do we want to do let's put that out of the way let's put the this down here like that Let's put the end of, end of chest on top of it. And there are the three marker pluses, by the way. That's where they go to. Very important. They are actually quite difficult to make at this stage of the game. We have to make lapis lazuli to make those, and that's not so easy. And then what we want is a sort of filter, carbon perfect. So I can take this transfer node here, put that onto that like that and that will feed directly into there and all we need to do then to put the carbon filter into here like this do we have any other things in here that we could use stack upgrade or something like that no but we could put some carbon into here let's get taken straight away and it's starting to I presume it's starting to quarry let's have a look ah no probably not actually I'll have to configure this at least I'm going to have to configure the um, sterling generator here. To, that's pull. We actually want it to push, don't we? Seems a bit strange. Always active and it's not working. Quarry mode, yes, that's fine. It's got power. Oh, it's fully powered. I don't need to give this cables, do I? Let's just see. Assume that we do need to give it some cables. I'm sure I didn't need to do it last time like that. Never mind. Oh yeah. Quarry mode. So that should be doing stuff. Let's have a look. Oh wow, that's doing stuff. In fact, it's actually breaking this stuff. So it's not throwing it away like it did with the old with the quarry plus it with the quarry it actually actually mines it in order to prepare this. That's good actually. Let's go and get on here and bre break this down at the same time. Get out of the way just in wants just in case it wants me to quarry me at the same time. Oh, that's really good. So now, our ender chest on the other side should be full of items. So let's go and get those and get those started to process. So everything you used to hate about quarries from BC, um, whichever BC mod it is, the quarry plus fixes, which is great, like range speed and everything let's have a look what do i need to do i need the i don't know where it is it's in here i think this one see it's already full actually that's strange now i'm not sure that we can do this let's have a look can we make an iron chest i didn't see it in the list of mods that's why i'm curious about it Let's just take out. So I'm not sure that it's 
two words and one word. Let's have a look. Iron. We get lots of rubbish in there, of course, but iron chests are fairly easy to see. Nope, I don't see any. Let's try chest. You always pick up the chest plates then as well. Oh, yep, draconian evolution stuff. What's that one? A slightly larger t chest from extra utilities. But, okay, that's quite easy to make some sticks around a normal chest. I don't know what the capacity of that is though. What have we got here? Tech Reborn Digital Chess, I suspect we can't do those. No, I don't. Oh, we've got these chests here. What are these chests? Oh, those are just presents from Chisel. Right, it doesn't look like I can do a, a larger chest at the moment. But I'll check, I'll check into that, make sure that is the case. So what we're going to do now, of course, is to take this. In fact, I'll use my obsidian hammer uh, pick up because it's faster. And it doesn't dig up more than one block. A little faster anyway. So let's put this back over here. And that should start to sift straight away. It is fantastic. Oh yes, and the other thing about the Quarry Plus is it doesn't throw stuff out. So we could go and check that that will be full. Let's go and check that before we call the episode a day. See now it's actually putting the blocks down here. Like that. And it'll actually start the, the process. It's already started to do some moon rock with this with this little hill here as well, isn't it? That's good. I think between episodes I'm gonna mine this away a bit as well. So we shouldn't find any blocks out here, because when it gets full it won't it won't push the blocks out. That's already mine, look at that. I think the quarry plus itself has quite a decent buffer. the quarry. I've got to remember not to right shift right click that by the way it does that. See this isn't this is completely full now of everything and the quarry is is it working or not? Let's have a look. Ah oh, yes I've got the backups enabled again I've got to remove that. I hate well I don't hate it's a bit over the top. I don't really like very much the uh, aroma backup because if it it takes time and during that time if you've done something it breaks it so the quarry is there and it's not moved because there's, everything's full fantastic until you get too near then it disappears right so we just have to come back now in fact oh, and get some more oxygen that's uh, a priority so the best way to do that, of course, is the RR pickaxe. Interesting, I thought at least they are um, physical and not just... Uh, cause I'm jumping far too high when I do this. In fact, I'm actually quite safe already. Oops, what was that? Because once I reach this, in here I've got spare oxygen sets anyway. So let's come along here. Take that out of there, get my chest stuff swapped over. Put that one in there, then we're alright for oxygen for this time. So another episode i hope you enjoyed it it's not too long but uh at least we've accomplished something and that's the quarry plus being put down so until next time bye for now <laughs>